Well, the news is just coming into us that the EU has accepted Bosnia's application for candidate status to join the European Union. Bosnia is split into the Federation of Bosnia-Herzegovina, home to mostly Bosniak and Croat ethnicities, and the Republic of Srpska, which is mostly Serbian. And divisions between those communities remain. And now there, are, there was a dispute over the results of a census revealed this year, which was meant to detail the ethnic backgrounds of all citizens. Serbs have regularly threatened to split from the rest of the country, and the Serbian entity is about to hold a referendum effectively over whether to respect the country's highest court. Well, to help us to understand some more of the situation, let's speak to Kurt Bassiner. He's a policy analyst and senior associate in the Democratisation Policy Council, and he's joining us from Dundee in Scotland. Kurt, uh, good to speak to you now. As I just started reading <laughs> this, uh, the news has come in that uh, their status has been accepted. First of all, your reaction to that? I think this just sends a message, unfortunately, that the form in the country, if you're, you pursue disintegrative tendencies, you'll still be rewarded with a membership uh, membership application. I think this sends a, a signal that the European Union is tone deaf to the ground reality in Bosnia. I actually think this is negative under current conditions. Uh, and Kurt, sorry, the line to you is quite bad, but I think we can get the gist of what you're saying, that this sends a bad message that countries don't need to respect certain human rights, etc., to get membership. Just explain some more detail of that and exactly why Bosnia uh, shouldn't, uh, in your opinion, perhaps be accepted into the EU. Well, it's not good. Let's be clear. Uh, what's on offer is is a step toward the, the membership of the European Union. It hasn't even become a candidate yet. So this is accepting Bosnia's application. Uh, I think that the, the, the problem in this, why it's negative, is that it demonstrates that all you have to do is talk the talk as, as an applicant. You don't actually have to deliver anything meaningful. Uh, and so disintegrative tendencies that you mentioned in your setup piece are all proceeding at an accelerating pace and the message from Brussels is great. We can, you can have application. It, it's completely out of sync with the reality. That's what's problematic. The, the, the situation in Bosnia is actually quite dangerous right now. Uh, perhaps the most tense it's been since the war. Uh, OK, Kurt. Uh, Kurt Bessner, we have to leave it there because the line two is not uh, up to our standards. But thank you, Andrew, for joining us on TRT World.